Nigeria Super Eagles will take on the selection of Argentina on Tuesday in their final group game of the 2018 FIFA World Cup Russia. Of course, the team started on a bad note, losing to Croatia 2-0 in Kaliningrad, but they stepped up and defeated Iceland 2-0. And of course, that was at Volgograd. Well, my name is Fisayo Dairo, and we, we are here again to give you the preview ahead of the all-important game between Nigeria and Argentina. Remember the background? We faced Argentina four times at the FIFA World Cup, and we have lost by the odd margin on each occasion in 1994, 2002, 2010, and 2014. And joining me here to preview the game tomorrow is the one and only Adekpo Jutobi Samuel, the one you call Oganla Media. Good evening to you. How's Russia, man? Yeah, really, it is 10.37 um, p.m. Yeah, right there on Monday. So, I mean, it, it looks as if we're still around 6 p.m. But uh, really great experience at the World Cup. Uh, my debut, just like some players, <laughs> in the Super Eagles store, it, it has been a great experience. Um, Super Eagles, like you said, lost the first game against Croatia, but they, they did well against Iceland. Brilliant performance, dominant performance, caught. And then really happy for Zoho, kept a clean sheet. We are currently at Super Eagles camp, right at St. Petersburg and we're looking forward to that big game against Argentina. Okay, taking a look at this city, you were in Kaliningrad, you were in Volgograd and now in St. Petersburg. What differentiates this city from the rest? Yeah, really, St. Petersburg looks like home for, for journalists, for me. I've been, I've been, I've been here for, uh, for a couple of days now. I traveled to Kalinga, as you said, traveled to uh, Vogograd. Uh, Vogograd looks like a village, <laughs> with respect to them. But, uh, yeah, and then, you know, Kalinga was, was a bit more like trusty, but I think St. Petersburg is very, is very beautiful. It's, it's, a, it's a very good place. I, I, I've loved the uh, you know, adventure here. Yeah. I've visited the fan fest also, moved around the city, and I really like everything I've seen in St. Petersburg. Okay, to the business now. Nigeria, Argentina. Wow. A must-win game for both teams. We don't have a good record against South American teams at the World Cup. What is your what will be your overview ahead of the game? Yeah, we're looking forward to this should be Super Eagles biggest game in, in, in 2018 at the World Cup. Uh, one of the biggest games in recent time also. Uh, it is a big game. Why we need to win, or we need to get the results that will ensure that the team progresses. But you know, a, a win is is, is 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 something you have to view in this one. Maybe if other result favors, then you can say you want to play for a draw. But a win should be in the mindset of everyone. It's a very big game, very tough one for for Nigeria, for Argentina also. They've, they've been poor us in the last two games, but they still got opportunity coming to this game, and it really why it makes it very difficult. They are not hot here. If they get a win against Nigeria tomorrow. Uh, and then um, at the Croatia win against Iceland, it, it, it makes them to progress. Also for the Nigerian too, if you get a point, then Iceland loss will progress if you get a win against Argentina. So it makes it very dicey and very difficult. Like you said, it will be difficult. We have a good record against them. We've lost our last four games against the FIFA World Cup. I mean, all this, we're always close, but we always lose. I think the only time we got something at a, at a major event was Cup of Richard Cup in 1995, where we had a goalless draw with Argentina. But at the World Cup, it has not been a very good one. But I think this squad could really make some, something tomorrow. You know, they could make us proud. Uh, they could get the job done. I think this squad have got the momentum. They really pick up against Iceland. The team spirit, like we saw among the players, the bonding, the belief, you know, the optimism in any boys might take us tomorrow. But reality is a big game. We're playing against Messi. He needs to do everything normally for 90 minutes. If you panic for a second, Messi can punish you. You panic for one minute, Aguero can get you off, or, you know, off, off your pedal. So it makes it very difficult for the boys. But I think we've got a compact squad. I think this, these guys can get the job done tomorrow. If we can replay what we did against Iceland, very compact back four, you know, look very solid at the middle of the pack and we're clinical in front. If you can get this major three part, you know, uh, perfectly against Argentina, we might get the result. Okay, I'm coming back to you shortly for the formation. Um, a bit of the team news from the press conferences today. Uh, Nigeria's coach Gunners Raw reported that his captain uh, John Mikelobi um, faces um, a, 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 a bit of time to be fit because he had an arm injury, an arm fracture in the game against Iceland and he believes it, it rests on the referee, Tunich Chacher from Turkey. Uh, a little bit of the background from the referee, he was in charge of Chelsea's second leg Champions League game against Barcelona in 2012 when Chelsea went ahead to win the Champions League, sent off John Terry that day. He was a, the referee at the final of the Champions League in 2015, Barcelona beating Juventus and he was is the, the, the referee last season in the Champions League, last month, in the second leg semi final at the uh, Stadio Santiago Bernabeu between Real Madrid and Bayern Munich. Uh, so for the Argentine, they are likely going to change their goalkeeper with Fredo Caballero. It seems Franco Armani of River Plate will be in goal. He was at the press conference today along with the coach, which of, of course bring, gives us some, some sort of inkling as to what is going to happen. Lots of questions about the media. 
we saw we saw hell at the media. We knew that the media was totally against the coach, the Argentine coach. So uh, coming back to Toby now, we've used three five two against Iceland. We used four two three one against Croatia. Which lineup are you going to deploy against these Argentines? Uh, really, um, it it's um, um, I really don't know, but I think um, if you play formal defense against, but let me say, let me put it this way. If I am general troll, I've said it, if we get a result against Iceland, I will play a 4-5-1 formation. Add more men at the middle of the pack, add, add four men at the back. But with Kenneth's performance, it's difficult to switch to 4-3 because if you want to play 4-3-3, you will still want to stick with the Yimbo wall. Then you want to put Kenneth on the bench. So, but Kenneth's performance was brilliant with convincing. So you really want to, and it makes that 3 5 tool against Iceland look very good for us. So um, I think I will switch from my personal opinion, I will still go with general Troy opinion of what we did against Iceland. 3-5-2 will be very good for us. Uh, the back three with Balogun, Ekong and then uh, Kenneth. Then the difference will be Tyron starting ahead of you know Idowu or Anderson. Then Moses uh, from the right wing. Well, I would love to see Shewu at some point um, for obvious reason, but you know defensively it could add, but offensively with Moses to do more for us. Maybe at some point in the game he, he, might, he might come in, but Moses also need to do a lot of job. We really Super Eagles really, Nigerians really believe Moses, if Moses can do better at the World Cup. We know Moses' quality, we know what Moses could have to this team. If Moses could, you know, bring his A game to, to this team, it will really add a lot of us for us. And then, Etebo Mikel indeed it looks like a very good partnership. Then Musa Ihanacho, for me, I think, Igalo was ahead of Ihanacho. I would prefer uh, Igalo Heights, you know, in this one. Uh, maybe good advantage for us. So, I would just make two changes. The 3-5-2 Massy Stick, the two changes, Tyron uh, for Udowu, then um, Ojo Igalo. Uh, for um, the NHL. All right, so by this time tomorrow, the game will be winding down. Of course, that's how the, the kind of weather we have here in Russia. 9 p.m. here in Russia and 7 p.m. right there in Nigeria. Go, keep on supporting the Super Eagles and we believe sincerely that they will carry the day.